So Cozy Bay, it's uh, the most northeasterly point of South Africa. It is part of the Isimangalisa World Heritage Area, which was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a marine protected area and the fauna and flora and the marine biodiversity in the area is second to none. The Cozy Bay system is made up of four lakes and an estuary that open out into the ocean that creates a unique ecosystem. I'm Michael Whitfield. So about uh, 10 years ago, my father moved up to the Cozy Bay area. He had a, a meeting with the local Induna chief and they signed a long-term lease on the property. This property is owned by the uh, local community and uh, we now run a very successful tourism operation that proves the value of uh, business and community working hand in hand. My name is Enoch Tembe. I'm a manager of Ujuelo Lodge. I think between the community and the lodge, it's very important. Uh, we, we see it working very well together. If you're supporting uh, Ujuelo Lodge, you're not supporting us as individuals, you're supporting the whole community which they have seen the benefit, which if they, they will see them, you see the enjoyment to have you in Coast Mountain, which is Dry Low Lodge. There's a huge variety of uh, activities that our guests can look forward to. We have a pontoon style boat that we take out on the lakes. It will show you the three lakes, you go on the meandering channels, you get to see the fish traps, how they work. Flamingos are often in the area as well, stopping up at the mangrove forest for a bit of a snorkel. It's a lovely half-day excursion that gives you a really good perception of the area. A great activity to do when visiting Cozy Bay is down at the mouth in the estuary. The estuary has one of the only inland live coral reefs and when snorkeling there, there's a huge variety of fish species and eels that can be viewed. Popping over the dune onto the seaward side are some amazing rock pools and uh, that's why the, the reef at uh, Cozy Mouth is nicknamed the aquarium because it really feels like you're swimming in an aquarium. Another activity is our hiking. We offer a variety of hikes, some from uh, day hikes, circular loops. We also do slack packing, which takes you all the way down the coast, staying at different uh, venues along the way. And you just carry what you need for the day. We'll transfer your bags and everything else and look after your meals. Crossing through five different biomes on the Zalandi hike, uh, up over the top of a 65 meter high dune and onto a pristine private beach is one of the highlights. Some amazing things to do is uh, the canoe trips on the estuary. The quietness and the pristineness of the environment is spectacular. We also offer great birding excursions both on the lakes, on the canoe trips and on the hikes. Uh, we've got some top lifers in the area and uh, we love you to come and find them. Do one of the fish trap tours where one of the local fishermen will take you down and show you how they live and fish in these uh, ancient kraals. They've been doing it this way for hundreds of years in a, in a sustainable manner. During November through to March, we're blessed to have the loggerhead and the leatherback turtles um, laying eggs on our beaches. Um, and then later in January through to March, the little turtles making their way back to, back to the ocean. As many of you know, Cozy Bay is one of the top fishing spots in South Africa. Um, and whether your choice be fly or lure or bait, uh, there's a good chance that you can land yourself a giant GT or Trevelli or stump nose um, or grunter. So come give it a try. So Uchuela Lodge and Camp is located at the entrance to the Isimangaliso Gate at Cozy Mark. We're the closest accommodation to the beach and it's a short walk or a 4x4 drive. And if you don't have a 4x4, come chat to us and we'll transfer you down to the beach. Our Tusker suites are beautiful, large, luxury tents, uh, Hollywood style beds, separate change area and bathroom, and a lovely outside shower uh, with a little patio in the front in a private area. The Hippo chalets are rustic luxury wooden chalets. They come with either a queen or king bed, two single beds, en suite with an outside private shower. For those wanting a bit more of a glamping experience, we have our turtle tents, uh, large Sahara style tents uh, on a wooden deck with a little bry in the front and a patio, a shower outside the back in a private area and a small kitchenette. A true favorite amongst our guests are our pristine campsites. These are large private campsites with a reed crawl boma around them underneath big waterberry trees. Each campsite has drinking water available, a power point serviced by large ablution facilities. All our units offer both self-catering and catered options. 
When making your booking, you can choose which meals you want to have and all meals are prepared fresh and with love. We strive to maintain a low ecological footprint. Uh, we run the lodge predominantly off a solar system with a battery backup. We use a minimal vegetation clearing and we try to use as much local building material as possible. So kick off your shoes and come and switch off in one of Africa's best kept secrets. So we will come you with a big smile. I hope you will have a lovely stay with us at Joy the Lodge. We thank you.